Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday, and fun folds. For many years, I have done fun folds on Tuesdays, but I have taken a three-month um, rest because I had some major surgery done on my ankle, and the anesthetic just has been playing a havoc with my brain. So I've just taken a little rest here. So today we're going to kick back in here. I just had a team challenge and got some fun fold um, designs from team members. This one I'm sharing today is from Sue Floyd, and it's just so simple that I had to share. I knew it could be my first video without a problem. I am using um, the Earthen Textures um, bundle. This is part of a uh, sweet collection and the paper that goes with that sweet collection is the Earthen Elements Designer Series paper. Now this paper has um, prints on one side, um, earthly prints. On the other side, it's got plain color. Now this, I have already, this is the designer series paper. I've used the plain side. The other side has the print on it. I die cut it with a countryside corners die. Um, so I've got a couple pieces of the designer series paper, a little piece of vanilla. I have a piece of cardstock. This is the Pebbled Path, which is an in-color um, cardstock. It measures seven and a quarter by five and a half, and I have scored it at the three inch mark and the six inch mark. So there's the three inch and there's the six. And this is just a very simple fold. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to grab my designer series paper. My designer series paper is um, four inches by five and three eighths. And along that four inch uh, piece, I am going to cut at one and an eighth. This helps with the pattern so that the pattern just kind of flows um, together. And we are going to put that on the score line right here. And also on the front of the card. Like so. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, oops, that is far from being straight. Let's get that. When it's only an eighth of an inch, a lot of times I will use my Tombow glue because it's easier to adhere. I'm going to grab that designer series paper and I'm going to just put adhesive on the one side. Again, I have already run this through um, my embossing folder to give it some texture. So we've got that. I have already taken and die cut my pieces um, from that bundle. Very cool, the little vases when you um, color them in or ink them and then die cut them, there's no border around them. It actually trims off so that you have a solid look. I'm going to take the little um, top of that vase and put it on the vase like so. I'm then going to add some adhesive and bring in my ferns that I've already die cut and also that little sprig, I guess that's what it's called, and add that to my vase. And we'll put that bigger one off to the back like so. I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to add some dimensionals to make sure that those ferns stay in place and also pop up my vase. 
move the back here with that. I see the one has kind of went off the edge of that vase, so we'll just trim that down and put that right on our die cut designer series paper. I have taken, this is also from that Countryside Corners dies, and I'm just going to cut a, just a little sliver of the dimensional. I have used the Greeting with Gratitude, again with that Pebbled Path ink. We're going to just add that to the front of my card like so. Going to grab, I thought I had brought them out, um, my in color. Hmm. I thought they were right. Oh, here they are. My in color dots. And we're just going to add some of those dots to my card front, like so. But the cool thing about this opening is that, remember, we just had that score line. So it's kind of a closure flip card. Like I said, a very quick and easy fancy fold. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to be back with you every week from now on. Thanks so much for joining me and for your patience. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.